So here we are in Inventor and this video is going to be showing you how to set up the platforms and then put everything else together. So we're in our project, we're going to go to a new um, standard assembly or with the updated menu we can just click on the assembly here. Now one of the changes with Inventor which you might not see on some of the other videos, the first part that you place you have to right click and place grounded at the origin for the first part. So with my platforms, the first part that I'm going to want to place is my main platform. So I'm going to place my main platform and I'm going to right click and place it grounded at the origin. Now it looks like I uh, placed my platform sideways and so this is a good time to show you if you get something that's you know not constrained the way you not place the way you wanted it to be or if you didn't ground something yet you can use your constraint tool and the origin these different planes here and so I'm gonna constrain the top of my pegboard with this XZ plane and that's gonna turn it sideways the way that I want and then if I needed to I could also go with the side and this plane and then the front with the final plane, the XY plane. And hit apply. And so now I wouldn't be able to move this if I wanted to, but I'm gonna right click and make it grounded. So the platform has four main poles and it also has two short poles and it also has a long pole and a triangle platform. So the constraints we're going to do are an insert constraint and this is called the aligned and you're just clicking on the end of your main pole and the top of your hole to get it in place and then one of your short poles you're going to want to constrain opposed to that hole to put it there and then aligned to your triangle platform and then I'll put this one here and the last hole is for the um, long pole so this can still rotate what I need to do is use my constraint, go to two angle, or angle, directed angle, a two angle constraint, and go from this face to the one we want it to line up with. And that'll be zero degrees. Hit apply, and now you've got that set together. Now we're going to show you the crayon. Okay, so you go to place your crayon pole, place a couple of them and constrain. You're just going to use a normal constraint, the top of your platform with the bottom, not the green dot, but the bottom of your crayon and that'll put it on the platform. And then we're going to use the tangent tool to go from the circle to a flat side, but we don't want it on the outside, we want it on the inside. So you switch that and then you can see we have to move it from here over to that side, still on the inside, hit apply, and we've got this one crayon constrained. It's not going to move. Now, you would want to put in your crayon poles last, so we're just going to pretend that I've got some of the other stuff constrained in here. And the other stuff, you can kind of put it in wherever you want. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so with the crayon poles, use the pattern tool, go to your rectangular pattern, and the component arrow is selected. So I'm going to click on my crayon. My column is how I want to make it go. I need at least three inches between my crayons, and it's going the wrong way. So I want to use the switch tool to switch it. And let's say we want six of them. Now if you wanted to, you could put some spacing in between your crayons. If I did 3.5, it'd space them out a little bit. 
Let's get these other guys out of the way. Okay, if I did four, you know, it'd make it a little bit more. So it all depends, you know, kind of how you want it to look. You know, maybe you want them solid, and you can do it like that. The next one, I'll do the spiral slide, because this is can be a pretty tricky one for some people. So I would always start with this outside face. And again, no green dots. You want to make sure you're getting a face. And I'm going to put mine on this edge here and hit apply. The next thing I want to do is this straight edge here and the top edge. But I don't want them to be lined up. Okay, It doesn't look very good. So we're going to use the offset and make it a maybe a negative 10. Is that not going to work? That one looks like it might not want to work for us. So let's try another one. The green dot. Nope. So it worked before, but it doesn't seem to want to work right now, of course, because I'm showing it. Um, so what we can do with the spiral slide, just like we did before with the origin, we can use this XY plane. And we're going to go from this to the top. So we'll constrain the top of the triangle platform to the XY plane, but we'll make that flush. And we don't really want it to be flush. We want to put an offset there, and this offset is going to set how far up our slide is. You know, 10 might be 10 might be a good number. Okay, now you'll see our slide can still slide around. Sorry, I had to. Um, so our slide can still slide around left and right, and what we need to do is use th the other plane. So this plane going through our slide this way is going to allow us to constrain it into another edge. So we clicked on the YZ plane and find a vertical edge. Now we don't want it right there. Again, type in a number, offset it back. For this one, I'm going to look at the top, and I want this pole to be going in the, in the center. I want to make sure that pole is not hitting any sides of my slide, and that looks that looks pretty good. Maybe 18. Okay, there we go, right down the center. Okay, hit apply. And now the spiral slide is locked in place. For the wall climb and the tunnel slide, you should already have those as some um, assemblies. So I've got my climbing wall assembly, which I you know, made that as a smaller assembly, and now I'm bringing it in to the final assembly. Um, the platforms, I'm kind of putting this all together, but I would have made the platforms a assembly and then started a new assembly, but for the sake of this video, I just put it all into one. And finally, the tunnel slide. Tunnel slide can be a little bit tricky, but I'll show you the tricks. The main plat, the uh, Climbing wall is pretty easy. A lot of flush constraints. We'll flush the side with that side. This part of the top goes with the top there. And then you'll see it kind of can slide in and out like this. So we want to constrain this with the back side. And that's just the normal make constraint, not a flush. So if you were on flush, you didn't hit cancel, then you got to do that. So that one's locked in place. The slide, face with the face, we'll put it there, hit apply, and you can see it can kind of move around. The trickiest part with the tunnel slide is you have to constrain this edge with that edge and hit apply. And then for the sides, you'd want to do a flush constraint again, except for, you know, I don't want it right there. We'll scoot it over some. Just like that. Looks perfect. And then for the monkey bars, 
bring those in. My nice rusty monkey bars. So we're going to constrain, we're going to flush the top with the top of the monkey bars and the side with a side except for again you want to probably give it an offset. If the offset doesn't work, a negative offset, we'll set it the opposite way. And the last constraint we need is you know so that the monkey bars don't go into the platform you need the mate there and there. So that's putting all the parts on the outside, all the main pieces. The tunnel slide can be a bit tricky, but again, when you open up, or sorry, the spiral slide, you open up the origin and you can use the different planes to constrain flush or mate to the other things. And like you saw, you know, I was doing a flush constraint originally and it ended up upside down so you just switch it and the preview will change inside and then again with your crayon poles I'll just show you one last one again the bottom we'll put this on the triangle platform here and what I like to do for one of these corners of the triangle platform is go tangent on the inside there and again with this corner here. So we're getting it nice and tangent in there and bringing the pattern of the crayon poles. Oops. The crayon poles, not the main platform. Bringing that over to the side so that we've got some more crayon poles up here. So that's putting it together, doing the pattern tool. The pattern tool is really helpful. Um, you know, anywhere there's a place where somebody could fall off, you know, I would probably put a couple more here and here. Now this one you cannot pattern again, but you would need to take a crayon pole and put it next to it. So I'll show you that. So the tangent constraint, you would make it inside there and then this last one would go on the outside tangent to this one here because if you were to try to pattern if you were to try to pattern this across it would you can see it's making a whole little army of them so for the pattern we take this one and then when we go to pattern it now it's just taking multiples of that one there and spacing it across so that's it, that's the platform and the slides and all the different parts, good luck.